a Pika I'm very familiar with. So GT has been playing a lot of Falcon lately. He said he was a Falcon main. Really? Here he is with the Pika, so I don't, I don't believe him anymore. <coughs> However, I am glad to see him sticking with Pika because he's ha his you know best wins, best performances have been with Pika. Yeah, he's tried a little Kirby, tried a little like Samus Link. He started out as a Samus main, but really he's he's looked the best with Pika. And he's uh, Baltimore proper. Yes, yes. Has um, he taken any sets off of uh, anybody from Baltimore? Like any so big upsets or anything? He actually, at MVP3, he took a set off me. I went Samus game one, and he won. And then I won game two in the ditto, and then he took a game off me in game three in the ditto. So he won the set. Nice. Yeah. Um, that's still, that's like definitely something to be said. I mean, even Yeah, beating. I mean, he's good. He's, he's beaten Marbles, although Marbles got him back. The uh, <laughs> the when they played at Shine, um, right? But GT definitely rising talent. Blue go starting this one off really. <laughs> Blue go. <laughs> so we're getting some funny messages here from yeah. Jason. Um, Blue Blue go starting this one off really strong. Um, maybe Whoa, just like waiting. You see that? That's so. He just waits there with the up tilt and. GT, if he can't uh, approach Lugo from the back like that, he should maybe just find another way. You know, yeah. like don't keep jumping into the up tilts and up airs. Right. I mean, there's no reason for Lugo to switch up a strategy against GT if it's working though, as as well. You know. Right. Cool. A rough start for GT. Lugo looking very dominant. Now, were, was Lugo the uh, underdog <coughs> going into this? Would you have said? Uh, I believe so. Yes. Um, He's looked pretty strong today, as we saw from his earlier set against Bungie. But um, we still, we were saying he didn't know really, he wasn't really closing out the stock well. But it looks but like he's, he's definitely closing out the stocks. I think he's probably a little, <coughs> a little more familiar with the uh, the, Pika. the Pika Ditto, you it's, know, Finio, KD3. Yeah. It seems like it, and and he's not doing huge combos, but he's just getting like some smart edge guards, and he's uh, playing defensive and setting up that up a wall of up tilt. I do think we will likely see GT lock down a little bit here and bring this a little closer, but three to one in ditto. Oh, he had, uh, I think he, he had, had a back, back air. air. Yeah, he absolutely had a back air. And he's got to try to get around that up till. You see him sitting there crouched. That's a, you know, you have to have that recognition, right? When you're recovering, if you see someone crouching near the edge, chances are they're doing oh, an up tilt. Great edge guarding from GT until that. Yeah, I don't know why he jumped away there. So something with the, the down tilts though, um, the old the old adage is, you know, never do the same thing three times in a row, right? Right, yeah. But right now, sometimes it's okay, like the Annie meta. I, I like to talk this, about this a lot. Sometimes they're, they do something once or twice, and they're like, okay, there's no way he's going to do it again. So they cover a different option. And you're right. like, that op the first option opens up. So sometimes if you go to the same spot like three times, it might work. Yeah, I mean, that's the whole mind game. That's mind games right there, right? Yeah. You know, so if they're not going to change up their strategy and your strategy is working, you can yeah. just keep doing it indefinitely. Because you could figure GT was crouching, saying crouch to bait out a different option. Yeah, you could I've, jump up after. I've seen you try to bait a uh, top plat by, you know, up tilting at the ledge before a peaker recovers. And I know that that's something, you know, people try to bait that's out the things Derek. that way. But, yeah, I don't think, I didn't think that uh, yeah, right GT there. was doing that in that situation. Pro probably not. We'll see if... Um, after such a dominant game, if what GT can do to maybe adjust here. Yeah, I think that was like, you know, I think Blue Go can definitely still can win the set, um, but I do think that was kind of like a fluke of how much he won that by, right? Right. I don't uh, think we'll see. Do you think we'll see a. I think GT's gonna lock down a bit as well, as, you know, and then there you see GT sort of took his Blue Go's approach and just turns around and up tilts that aerial. Oh, a little early on that down tilt. See, something I've noticed, Blue Go's not respecting Pika's up air at the ledge. He's gotten hit by that a couple times. GT's made it back on stage as well. Yeah. Oh, up smash. Oh, Ooh, up smash okay. maybe there too. Yeah, you know, that's something we used to only see like Kiro, you know, like, and some of the greats do. Um, was like the, you know, doing, doing a combo to the top plat into a pivot up tilt. And yeah. continuing it like that. And GT kind of had it right there. He didn't get the pivot up tilt, but he still 
you know, went for the up tilt to keep the combo going. It seems like everyone has, you know, these kind of strats down now. Yeah, the whole, the level of, of player, player level in general, like the average player is so much better now than it used to be. Oh, and oh. tries to reverse bear, even to try it is, oh. So a couple times, okay, he still manages to get stock. After all that, Blugo had many opportunities to really make him pay for missing those edge guards. But man, GT's on fire now. Yeah, what, and we haven't even seen a close what, game what now. What are the chances of, yeah, seven, like a seven stock swing, you know, from three in Blugo's favor to, you know, potentially four in GT's favor. Oh, man, and Blugo thought he was gonna have that grab and good, he does that Baltimore, set up that down air high. <laughs> Um, something I'm noticing, GT's had an opportunity to punish those up B landings with up smash, and instead he's just going for a grab, and that gives Belugo another chance to live and recover. Yeah. Up smash will kill in those situations at uh, those high percentages. Oh, all right. And Belugo gets an opportunity to take a stock. Yeah, does not get four stock. Gets on the board here. Oh. Those input uh, things are pretty cool. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Australia's been using them for a while now. Yeah, they're from Indefa. Uh, they're from Austra Australia. They're, they're Aust the Australians program or whatever, I think. So it's very hard to find a bigger advantage swing than what we've seen so far in this set. Um, two guys kind of similar areas in their region, I think, in terms of uh, like ranking. Right. GT, much more well-traveled. He's really gone all over the place this past year and um, racked up you know a fair number of decent wins and performances um, Lugo switching to the green hat maybe a little superstition who knows I think Lugo uh, was doing a good job of yeah see that recognition from GT yep. um, he could have just thrown out a back air after the up tilt but he knew the percent he could just throw out an up air and you get the back air and kill instead of having to go for an edge guard situation. Very great rec uh, awareness from our Baltimore Pika main. I think that GT is, uh, he's better at closing out stocks than Blugo. And so if Blugo, game one was just winning the neutral a lot. So if he's gonna win this, he's gonna have to win the neutral more than GT. Whereas game two, GT was all over him. For a while, um, GT's fortes were his DI and his patience. He would do whatever he had to to um, basically not put himself at a disadvantage. He essentially camped in, you know, like Falcon matchup. Right. Um, but he's, he slowly built his game up, or actually pretty quickly. Um, some of these combos he have come out of nowhere. Like, he's always had a decent punish game, but just some of the, some of the decision making he has now on his punish game I think it's fairly new. Right. Um, I think he he switched to Falcon for a little bit because of the punish game. He was like he was sick of Pika's punish game versus Falcon. He was like, yeah, I just, you know, Falcon, it's so much easier, right? Yeah, it's much easier to just take. You, there's a lot less skill involved, probably, to do some easy zero to death combos and whatnot. But, but now you see that may have helped with this Pika combo game because it's just it's looked really good. Yeah, I mean sometimes just diversifying your your cast of you know playable characters just gets you better at the game as a whole, right? Yeah. Um, but Blugo, uh, I was gonna say, what Blugo really needs to do is try and bait out some more approaches from GT. Really try his patience. Uh, this is the first game he was getting GT to run into a lot of things that. Uh, did not seem unsafe. Yeah, I mean, right there, we've seen he turns around and he just tries to up tilt. And GT shouldn't be falling for that that much more. I, I don't think you can win a, win a match against, you know, a decent to high level player trying to bait them into running into an up tilt while you're standing still. Yeah. So, Oh, good read for Blugo. Yeah. Um, I like he, he landed an aerial in front of GT. I don't know if it was purposeful bait, but he followed it up immediately with an instant up air yeah. as he landed. Yeah, was it like that defensive up air? Yeah. Right? Um, it might have been an up tilt attempt also. And that, as seems, well. that seems to have been uh, where Blugo has found success, is just baiting more than, you know, uh, punishes. Great jab. Oh, is he going to get this stock? Not quite. Okay. He needs to find a way to close out. 
close out stock. You know, just a grab at this point. Yeah. You know, just force GT in a unfavorable situation to where maybe you can get an edge guard. And oh, why he goes so low? I don't think he knew he had a jump. Oh, the getup attack works. Ooh, and I think GT could have jab grabbed there. Yeah. It looked like he had the option. Blue goes has brought this game back. He's a very high percentage. He gets nared to tie it up. But here we go. The last game, stock. Game three, last stock. Pika did it. Exciting set, actually. What else could you yeah. ask for? I'm interested to see. I think, you know, I think Blue Go is going to, if he is able to take this, I don't think he's going to be able to win that much more with the current his current strat, sort of. Um, if it comes down to patience, I don't think G GT will be the first one to crack. I don't know. Blue Go seems pretty patient. It's like, looks when he, and that, those are the moments where he's hit GT. Where G GT got frustrated, it seems. Yeah. But. Oh. Oh, great F tilt. Oh, and that is not going to do it, though. Oh, my God. oh, wow. And GT went pretty high. Kind of got the right read. But I like the up the. It's very tempting to back air in that situation, but GT went for the up air for the higher coverage. Oh, man. And Blugo gets another lease at life here. Oof. Oh, wow. One grab for GT. Ooh. Maybe a little Ooh. damage. Oh, this is close. GT's still alive. He has a very solid chance to make it back. Lugo very ill advised forward smash. Yeah, he really wanted it, and and that's you know. <gasps> and GT landed on Lugo. Just no reason to land on him like that. A run in up smash, and those are like.